All right, folks, so I've got a little bit of a feel-good story for you, and I know that some people might think, Mike, how is this a feel-good story? Well, to me at least, it's a feel-good story because we've seen now for months, years, if you've been cl paying close attention, how the media has been absolutely vicious and hostile towards Bernie Sanders and his movement. Bernie Sanders just went off on a reporter, and I love this. So as CNN's Manu Raju tweeted, Senator Bernie Sanders grew angry when asked about his campaign plans. During a gaggle with reporters in the Capitol, I asked Sanders about his time frame for making a decision, and he lashed out, quote, I'm dealing with a fucking global crisis. You know, we're dealing with. I noted he's running for president, and he said, quote, well, right now, right now, I'm trying to do my best to make sure that we don't have an economic meltdown and that people don't die. Is that enough for you to keep me busy for today? The blow up occurred about halfway through a five minute gaggle where Sanders talked about the unprecedented crisis of our lifetime, calling for a range of measures that the U.S. government should take in the midst of the economic crisis. Then Lisa Mascaro asked what he's saying to his supporters and he sidestepped the question, noting he sent out a statement. Then I asked him about his time frame and he was furious. Afterwards, he mellowed out and answered the questions about the crisis for about two more minutes. So finally... Bernie Sanders was rude to them. And I'm sorry, but you, you have to be. This is a global pandemic, and you're worried about whether or not he will or won't drop out. Why does it matter at this time? The next primary isn't for, what, another three or four, four weeks? It doesn't matter at this time. It doesn't matter. Stop hounding him. You're speaking to an individual who is a United States senator who has a tremendous amount of power to actually stop the spread of COVID-19. Why aren't you asking him right now about that? Why isn't that your utmost focus? Like, they're so hyper-focused on the horse race that they can't turn it off. Like, they can't focus on anything but that. So I love that Bernie Sanders snapped at them. You have to go off on them from time to time because their priorities are completely out of whack. And that's why I think this is a feel-good story, because for months we've seen MSNBC, CNN just speak with nothing but contempt towards Bernie Sanders and his supporters, and now it really doesn't matter. I mean, as his path towards the nomination diminishes, now it doesn't matter. He could be rude to reporters and not worry about how this is going to impact his campaign. It doesn't matter anymore. We are dealing with a global crisis, and CNN just wants to make sure that he drops out so we can officially coronate Joe Biden. I say, fuck you. Bernie should stay in and worry about the global pandemic because that is the only thing that matters right now. Um, so just the fact that he went off and said, I'm dealing with a fucking global pandemic, I love this. And I will say that if Bernie Sanders was this frank, if you will, with reporters from the get-go, I think it would have increased his chances. Now, CNN is trying to make you know a story out of this. Does anybody care? Does anybody care currently? That CNN used the, that Bernie Sanders used the naughty word towards a CNN reporter. Does anybody really care? Is that of the uh, utmost importance currently? That a CNN reporter got his feelings hurt. I mean, <laughs> this reading this tweet it made me so happy. It honestly kind of made my day because I'm just I'm so I'm so frustrated with the state of media in America. You know, I, I'm not going to, you know, uh, denounce their coverage of COVID-19. I think that it's been it's been acceptable. But like in terms of just politics, more broadly speaking, they've done nothing but push their own pro-corporate agenda. And, you know, now we don't have to play their game because the primary is winding down. We don't have to try to be nice to them. If you're a Bernie Sanders supporter, you no longer have to be on your best behavior for fear of the 15th Bernie Bro article this week being written and maybe featuring one of your tweets. No, we can just be ourselves. Not that we weren't already. I, I was certainly myself. I wasn't going to um, self-censor. But I mean, like, it, it just, it doesn't matter. So Bernie Sanders needs to be, he needs to, he needs to realize that he is in a position of power and influence, and I think he does. Even if he doesn't become the Democratic Party nominee, he is a leader. He is a leader. And what he says matters. And I think that he needs to realize that people look to him, and even if the media is going to smear him, it doesn't matter because he has enough people on his side to where we trust him and we know that he's looking out for us. So if you have to swat down a question and cuss out a CNN reporter from time to time, do it. Because now... 
It doesn't matter. We're dealing with a global pandemic. All bets are off. Civility and respectability politics, that can all go in the garbage. We just have to make sure that we are focusing on the people. So if you have to force CNN to focus on what matters the most now at this very crucial time in human history and uh, yelling at them gets them to pay attention to what matters, do it.